Yo guys, what's going on? King Flipper here and welcome to another Team of the Season SVC. Today we're doing Syria Ad Touch Challenge number 4. I think it is number 4. What day are we on? Yeah, it's number 4. Friday, Saturday, I know. Yeah, this is number 4, which gives us a rare mega pack. Untradeable, no surprise. If it was untradeable, definitely would be worth doing because it's untradeable. Not really. Uh, requirements make this very expensive for what you get. If, as I said, if it was tradable, yes, absolutely, you would probably make most of your money back. But because it isn't, there's some expensive players. There is two methods the way I've done this. Uh, the first method was cheaper than what Footbin is, but I got it done even cheaper, which I'm happy with. Um, requirements then, so you need one Italian player. I've got Agbana. You can use Florenzi as well. Uh, players from the same league need to be exactly five. As you can see, I've got five from the Premier League and five from the Chinese League. Um, players, same nation, minimum of two, as you can see, English and Brazilian are the main ones, obviously the Italian player as well. Rare players, minimum of five, as you can see, we're smack bang on five. This is the, now this is the fun bit, so team over a rain has to be 80, we are on 80. I don't know how much more you can lower some of these players, but not by much. And team chemistry of 95, we are smack bang on 95. No position change in loyalty, of course we've got hyperlinks and strong links which is uh, fun um, so just bear that in mind um, so yeah um, Premier League and Chinese League as I said and then you got uh, Fernandez. so you can use Florenzi but Florenzi is 7k at the moment uh, I overpaid uh, if you're gonna go Florenzi Florenzi goes there instead of Fernandez, and then you use Rose and Keane but Rose is a K anyhow Keane's cheap so what I did is go for Agbana, Agbana's cheaper, Cresswell is cheaper chips. So you can use Maka, Masasaku or whoever pronounces his name as as well. Doesn't have to be uh, English or anything, so yeah. Uh, we'll get into it. The these are buy it now prices, these are not bids. Actually, it's a lot, some of them are bids. Not many of them, but you know. So Pope was 2.2k, it's actually cheap compared to some of the uh, goalkeepers, which is crazy. And uh, Mario Fernandez uh, is the 82 right wing back from CSK Moscow, 1.8k, which I'm happy with. Uh, Basham and O'Connell, you do need two English players from the same team here, otherwise you won't be able to get chemistry. 500 and 550 coins, they're buy it now, so you'll get them for less than 500 coins, which is a dub. Ogbonna, 5,000 coins. Italian players are ridiculous at this point in time. Absolutely stupid money, especially from a different league. Um, so yeah, uh, Cresswell 400 coins. Uh, as I said, mass, mass, uh, the other left back from West Ham as well. So you do need a West Ham left back with that one. So they're 400 coins as well. Let me get to the Chinese league. Ivo was 400 coins bid. Romelu was 400 coins bid. So just bear that in mind, they're cheap as chips. Uh, Tiliska's 2.1k. Uh, Arnautovic is 1.8 and Teixeira is 1.6 as well. Unfortunately, you do need that collection there of Brazilian players. Otherwise, again, you won't get the loyalty, uh, the chemistry needed. Um, so you can use Rose, Keane and Florenzi. Uh, this is coming up at 16.75k. So nearly 17k. If you go the Florenzi route, if Florenzi does come down in price at the moment, it's 18k to do. It's not worth it. I'm actually going to put for, for Florenzi back up because otherwise I don't fancy losing silly amount of money. If he comes back down, like if he comes down to like 5k, the same as Ogbonna, then that's a dub. I can see Italian players coming down, so just bear that in mind. But at the moment, you're looking between 15 minimum. If you get done for less than 15, with buying every player, dub. 20k, you're looking between 15 and 20k for an untradeable mega pack. Written mega? No, absolutely not. That's disgusting. Anything untradeable should, any top, like, even if it's, a, it, I know it's a 55k pack, but it should be no more than 10,000 coins. Absolutely not. If it was tradable, absolutely, because you'd make most of your money back, because rare gold players at the moment are through the roof. Look at that, Fernandez has gone for 1.8. You're looking at 1.5k for each rare goal player. So you've got to imagine, normally you'll get about... You normally should get about 6 or 7. So you know, 3, 6, 9... You're looking about... You should normally get about 10k back on the board. Um, you should get about 10k back in rares. I mean, Jimenez is actually... It's like 8, 9k alone. Um, Ender Bell is actually worth a bit. 3k. Bear Gorst is another 1.5k. Al Shirari is again, because he's uh, uh, Italian, he's like 2.5k. There's like 15k there. It's unbelievable. And then, look, see what I mean? 
three, six. There's another nine K there. So you can make your money back. If it was tradable, absolutely. I'd say pay 20 K all day long. But because it's not tradable, I mean, you guys might not. Two K for Iniesta? Because he's from a different league. It's crazy. Heron? How much is he? 1.5. I can. Wait, these have gone up even more expensive. Jesus. 1.6k. Probably sell straight away. Bankinen. Untradable, unfortunately. So there's a lot a bit of money lost. Martinez, untradable. Lost some money there as well. Boateng is probably the only one that'll probably sell for 1.5k. Watch. They're probably sold. Yeah. If this was a tradable pack, I'd say absolutely do it. Gusta. Oh, Zen, thank you for the subscription. Thank you for subscribing on YouTube. So there we go. Um, yeah. Expensive SBC. If it was tradable, 100% would have done it. Because it's untradable, it's not worth it. Unless your club is stacked and you've got tradable players in your club, you, you're not going to make any money off it. And as you've just seen, I didn't even get anything. I didn't even get a board. So it's, it's another rare mega, say. They're always like that. Um, let me know in the comments below what you think about this. But these SBCs are getting more and more ridiculous as they get along. If it was tradable, I would not complain whatsoever because it's worth it because you're going to make your money back. But because it's not, it's, this is this is the. I mean, I know everyone hates the game. I, I hate the gameplay of this game. But it's not going to change. The untradable SBC is the worst thing FIFA have brought in out of everything. I'm sorry, but untradable SBC should not be a thing at all. But there we go. Hopefully I saved you some time and some money. I hope you enjoyed my uh, ranting. Feel free to drop a thumbs up. It does help the channel in the video. Obviously, if you're new and you want to see more SBC methods like this and hear me rant about these uh, overpriced SBCs that are untradable, uh, feel free to hit the subscribe. Make sure you got the notification bell so you can keep up to date as soon as I upload these. But other than that, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video stream. Take it easy and obviously, peace.